it's like incredibly windy out today so I'm probably all disheveled looking um, it's Monday I've been running errands because that's usually my errand running day I ended up bleaching my hair to put electric paradise from um, from Arctic Fox in my hair which is supposed to be a neon pink like note to editing Meg put in a picture of what the color actually looks like and I got my hair almost white this time because it had already been bleached last time I was like all right this is gonna come out the color it's supposed to it came out like this apricot pink super streaky super patchy like I don't like the color whatsoever um, which is a bummer because that wrath color worked really good so I guess if I'm gonna use Arctic Fox I have to just stick with darker colors this one did not bode well for me here um, so now I'm at Target I just did I had gone to Walmart I had to get some uh, dinner stuff for the week just did a really crappy parking job but I don't care um, then I ran into Ocean State job lot which is like it's like a big lot it's like just one of those discount stores if you don't have it near you because I don't I know there's not everywhere um, because there's like these jalapeno cheese curls that I can only find there that we really like I normally don't like spicy things but they're not too hot they just have like a really good flavor to them so Steven wanted more of those, so I just went in there, and now I'm at Target, uh, because I have to get toilet paper. <laughs> I've explained before that I only get that certain kind of toilet paper here, because they, they're the ones that have the big rolls of it. Um, and I'm trying to find wet ones. Um, I was just like, where's my phone? I'm recording on it wet ones are sold out like everywhere I just got a tiny pack of them from Ocean State uh, Ocean State job lot but they like everybody is sold out of them because of the friggin coronavirus stuff like I normally buy them to have them in the car and now I can't find them anywhere I'm trying not to freak out too much over that even though I'm like a germaphobe normally I just feel like I don't know like the the media does try to like freak people out with it and I'm trying not to freak out about it because that's like the last thing I need to be freaking out about right now um but I wanted wet ones and I can't find them anywhere so I'm hoping that they have some in here I'm gonna go look now um I did get a I had been I had my eye on a pocketbook at Walmart for probably all winter and I was like I know they're gonna clearance them at the end of winter and now all the pocketbooks and stuff are clearance so I got it for nine bucks and then I got like a little like a not a clutch but it's like a wallet but it's a bigger I guess you'd call it a clutch <laughs> or like a wristlet a wristlet is what it's called that kind of has the same print on it because when I just go to pick Aiden up from school I don't take my whole bag I just grab I just showed my ID my little piggy um, card holder thing because it has my license in it and that's really all I take with me to go pick him up from school um, or like if we go on walks or something and I leave the house I don't take my whole bag with me so it kind of has the same I'll show you I'll show the stuff I got when I get home that was on clearance for five bucks so I got some good deals at Walmart and now I just have to go get toilet paper and wet ones and then I can go home <laughs> okay let's just do a a video, a haul video, <laughs> seeing as how I just got home. Um, these were the, the cheese curls I was talking about. If anybody else knows a store that sells these, let me know and I'll see if we have that store around here, but I can only find them at Ocean State Job Lot, which is like, I don't know if they... It can't be something they don't make anymore because like they have... These don't expire till July, and they always, like, replenish them. So it's not, like, something that's just been discontinued that they don't make anymore. But these are so good. Um, I got two bags of these. And then, um, I had to get, um, the little Dramamine. Oh, these are tablets, too. I thought these were the strips that you just put... They don't make the strips anymore, I guess. I can't find them anywhere, but I had to get more Dramamine for Aiden. Um, he has no school tomorrow, and my friend wants to meet up, so 
I don't know where she wants to meet up, but I don't want him to get car sick. Uh, and Target did have wet ones, so I grabbed two of these so we can have one for each of the cars. Um, I got it in a... I guess this this is a three-in-one body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, but we use it as bubble bath all the time. But it's Trolls, it's Guy Diamond, and this is supposed to be mango. Oh, that's like really fruity. It smells good. He just likes having bubble bath on hand, so that's that. And then these are like my go-to Kleenex for when Aiden gets sick, because they're, they're like, they're wet wipes, but they also safely wipe away 99% of germs from skin. Just because like... You know how kids are when they wipe their nose, they're just like, <laughs> it goes everywhere. Um, these are wet, like, pretty much like wet ones, but they're safe for your face, skin, and everything. So I just always have those in the wintertime. Then I wanted to show you the, um, the wallet and bag that I got from Walmart. So this was the, let me cut the tags off. These are going to be annoying. This is the wallet thing. See, it was normally $9.97. I hope I only paid five bucks for this because all the other ones had, I guess it just doesn't have the sticker on it, but it was on clearance for five. <laughs> At least that's what it said. I gotta check the receipt. There was a whole clearance section of just the wallet thing. So it has like a, a little handle here and a wristlet thing and I just thought it was cool because it's nice and lightweight. It's got room for cards in there and like a change purse, coin purse type area. And then this is just, I guess you can stick your phone in there. It's big enough for my phone, so that'll come in handy when I just want to grab this and go. Um, and then the mini bag, backpack, whatever you want to call it, it's just like a over the shoulder one strap type of bag so you can wear it like crossbody if you want but see what i mean how it kind of has the same oil slick print on it they did have a bag like this that was lighter like this but i liked the more purple one so <laughs> this one was 14.97 before it's called lydia <laughs> and on clearance for nine so it's not that much of a clearance but i knew that they were going to clearance the bags I originally wanted the one that looked just like this, but it was black and white checkered. They didn't have any more of those, so I wasn't fast enough to get that one. But let's take all the stuffing out. It's got a good amount of pockets and stuff, which I like. There's a little one right here, a bigger one there. There's a front little pocket, and then the main part of it. With silica bags in here and then on the inside there's a little that's where I usually stick my phone when I'm carrying a bag but it's nice and like obviously it's cheaply made but <laughs> I needed a new bag so badly because I've been using that camel one and it's falling apart so now I have a new bag and a new wallet you want to show everybody what we're gonna build tonight yeah show it yay <laughs> We got the Minecraft chicken coop. Yay. Um, Minecraft we've been donut. We've been doing a lot of these because Aiden's been obsessed with the uh, Minecraft the lately. The Steven's trying to teach him how to play it. And uh, so far, his limit is usually the ones that are under 100 pieces. Mm -hmm. Like, th that he'll actually sit and do it properly. No. We did, um, let me show them the other one. <laughs> go into his room which is probably a mess right now not too bad his bed is not made though <laughs> this was the biggest one that we did which was I forget what this one is called the blaze something blaze bridge that's what it was um this one didn't come with it this was a separate guy but this was the biggest one so far and about halfway through he started <laughs> getting aggravated with it and it just took a while. So this one we got today is about the same. Oh no, actually, this one was like 256 pieces. So this one's a little bit less, 198. But he really wanted to do this one. So I'm trying to like build up his tolerance because these are the ones he normally does. Like we got the pig, the creeper guy, 
the Steve guy, and then we did this little scene. I don't remember what this one was called, but it was just a tiny one. Um, and I'm trying to build build up his tolerance because he really wants to do the um, the Nether portal, and that one's like 300 and something pieces. So, trying to slowly get the bigger ones to build up his tolerance. So we're gonna do this tonight. Um, they kind of aggravate me because I kind of don't have the patience for them either, but we'll do it tonight. This living room is a mess. You can help me pick up later. So, that's what we did today. We went to Target. <clears throat> we got McDonald's for lunch, hence my soda over there. Weren't healthy for lunch today because I didn't feel like making anything. <laughs> I had to get Listerine for Steven because he's been having toothaches and that's that. And then I bought a bunch of rubbing alcohol because I'm going to make hand sanitizer for my shop. I figured out, figured why not, especially with all the germs going around. Got some apples because Aiden was insisting he wanted them. I bet he's going to eat one and then I'll, I'll have to eat the rest. Um... Jelly beans. These are like the Brock's ones are Steven's absolute favorite. So I got him those and then Aiden wanted the reds. I like those too. So, and then what else do we need to get? Just bread. This mat is so dirty. Can try some? What? You want an apple now? Yeah. You sure you're going to eat it? Yeah. Chewing and swallowing. Okay. <laughs> He's swallowing it. So. Yeah, this mat, like, if anything no, falls on no. it, you can't clean it. It's ridiculous. The way you're supposed to clean it is, like, take it outside and hose it off because it's, like, heavy-duty oh, material. But it's so gross. I'm just going to get rid of it. And who cares what goes there because we're not going to live here much longer. So, I have another uh, hair dye on the way because this, I just, I don't like this color. It's not so much that the color's bothering me, it's more how patchy it is. Cause like, can you see that it's like hot pink in some areas and then some areas it just didn't stick? And like, usually I don't go for light colors because my hair just, it doesn't want to stick to it no matter how light I get my hair. And I've never had luck with light colors. But this was like a super hot pink, or supposed to be, that's what it looked like. Pink? You got you come here. <laughs> My friend made him this hat and like he hasn't taken it off. Come here. Is that the same apple or did you just take another one? Just take another one. He's been walking around with this hat. You kinda you have to flip it up, bud. You look like a little hipster. Actually, maybe not. You can flip it up, but your head's kinda big, isn't it? Is that better? Yeah. Chewing and swallowing. <laughs> so yeah, I try. I'm gonna try the Uberless um, hair dye because I'm very intrigued by that. It says like bond, what is bond sustaining or something? It's supposed to basically have like um, stuff that's similar to Olaplex mixed into it to like prevent damage any further damage since my lighter parts of my hair are super dry right now because I bleached them again. That better be the same apple. You better not just be taking bites out of all of them. Yay! I'm glad you're eating apples, but I don't want you to go through all of them. Is it good? It's page up. Is the apple good? Yeah. I'm not. It's hot! Yeah, the, don't touch the light bulb, okay? So anyway... <laughs> I'm trying to talk here! <laughs> We're not doing anything else today, I just wanted to check in. Um, he's not gonna let me <coughs> right now, so I may as well just talk to you guys later. Hey, are you liking having no school today? Yay! Cause it's, it's a... It's partly because it's- Go vote! 
can't go vote. <laughs> it's partly because it's election day and the election, like the voting takes place at his school. And it's partly because it's a staff development day or whatever. But Steven's calling me now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I just woke up and I'm getting ready for the day. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, my hair's a mess. I haven't done anything with it yet. I'm going to talk about, while I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to talk about something that I didn't want to talk about. <laughs> it's been aggravating the crap out of me, so, um, I guess kind of just, everybody always likes to give me advice when I have, like, something going on, so talking about stuff makes me feel better about things, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, this is because my brother came over last night, and he's stressing me out. <laughs> and I, He might see this because he watches my vlogs sometimes, so hi Brad, you're stressing me out. Um, a while ago he had a girlfriend. And I, I had talked about that very briefly because uh, it was when, I'm pretty sure it was around the time Stephen's grandma had just passed away, and he hadn't even known the girl for very long, and she was pushing him to ask me and Stephen if they could stay here because she got kicked out of her house. So like, I never even met the girl and right off the bat, I had bad vibes. I'm, I usually have like this sixth sense about I don't want to meet someone because they're just going to be a huge pain in the ass, I guess. <laughs> so I never ended up meeting her. I didn't want them over here. I didn't like that she was doing that. I was like, I kept trying to ask him, why did she get kicked out of her house? What did she do? She's 21 years old. Why the hell did she get kicked out of her house? You know, it's not like a, a teenager. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to try and make this as short as possible because there's a lot of crap that goes along with it. I'm going to just give you like the, the diluted version here because I'm not going to have time to talk about the entire thing. So naturally, my grandma didn't like her. My brother still lives with my grandma, mind you. Um... And they ended up, uh, they ended up breaking up because she cheated on him. I don't know if it was her ex-boyfriend she went back to or some other guy or something. But he found out and they broke up. But then, that wasn't the end of it because she somehow just has her claws in him and it's like on again, off again, on again, off again. She turned out to be like an abusive junkie, basically. Like she's hit him, uh... Not that he can't defend himself, but my mom raised my brother correctly, and he's not going to hit a woman. So, basically now, he's constantly giving her money. And it's pissing me off that he's still talking to her, because he's changed his phone number two different on two different occasions, because she doesn't leave him alone. And I'm like, why do you just cut ties with her, you changed your phone number, don't give it to her again. I don't know why he's being so stupid. Like, I know this situation happens with people a lot, but, like, I didn't think he was that stupid. <laughs> so it's just stressing me out because, like, I know that he's grown and, like, this is not my problem, but it kind of is because, like, if something happens, he's going to come running to me. Like, if I was younger, I would just threaten the bitch. <laughs> like, I, I even have considered that now, but I'm like, I don't, I don't need to get in trouble for anything, but come on. She got arrested not too long ago for having cocaine, and like, ugh. <laughs> I don't know how. My brother, like, never did a bad thing in his life. Never drank, smoked, did anything. Now he's, like, constantly drinking, and he's smoking cigarettes. Like, he... Never before. And he well, he was super, like, Mr. Health Nut, and wanted to be a wrestler and stuff, and would never touch that stuff. 
And now since he's been tied up with her, not that there's anything wrong with drinking, but like excessively, let's like, my dad was an alcoholic. I don't need to deal with that with him. Uh, I just don't know. It's like, this is the worst possible time with having to move and everything and having to find a new place. Him stressing me out on top of everything else with this. What is up with this color? It's not even showing up. But yeah, that's my my current stress. And the fact that I filed our taxes like a month ago, over a month ago now, the um the expected date for it to de oh my god it goes to deposit into our account was the 25th like we got the state taxes back already but that that's the little one the federal taxes have not deposited yet and it says it's still being processed so i'm hoping i didn't screw anything up like i always do our taxes and i do them correctly so i was trying to look info up about that and it said like if you people who claim the earned income credit I think it is uh, your taxes will be delayed because they can't uh, give those refunds until February 27th or something like that but even so it's now March like I don't know why didn't deposit yet like of all years we always get it so early and we really really need it this year so we can start looking into places and it did not deposit into our account yet can you show me your hat Yay. <laughs> cheeseburger head the bun doesn't stay poofy though it wants to flatten out all the time but I mean that's what we get for a cheap party city hat. <laughs> I was thinking I would show you guys some of the stuff that is coming out with my spring collection. So, um, I did post the colors in the palette, but I didn't post the actual palette yet. So it's called In Bloom. Like I said, it's not themed on a TV show or a movie like I usually do. I just wanted to do like straight up produce for your face palette um marshall from zany laney did the artwork for me so this is like i sent him a picture of what i envisioned for the cover and he nailed it i just wanted like cherry blossom trees and very springtime peachy colors because you'll see why when you see the the actual color story this is just my mock palette that i use for taking pictures so there's no mirror in the top because it broke <laughs> but there's usually a mirror so if you buy it there will be a mirror in there but there's this metallic pale pink which is called airy um this one is called alive it's like a satin peach then flora is a metallic kind of coral shade renew is a matte um kind of like a brownish peach good transition shade and then sunlit is just a super nice warm toned kind of beige color that one's also a metallic so in the future i want to try and find a different like palette layout like i was thinking of maybe doing 12 pan palettes which is going to be a lot of work but there's not too many options because if you want to have like a custom palette which i would love to do someday um like have it shaped however you want like say i wanted like a heart shaped palette or a flower shaped palette which would have been awesome for this uh all the places that will do that for you you have to have like a minimum order of a thousand pieces and that's so expensive so if i was ever going to do that i'd have to do like a kickstarter type thing and i don't know if i could reach the amount to be able to actually make them or not so i don't know maybe someday in the future but i've been talking about closing pretty for your face to begin like permanently so i'm back Everybody seems to be in agreement that I should, like, vlog more throughout the day. Um, so I'm gonna try and do that this week. I've decided halfway through the week. It's Wednesday. I've been trying to do it the past couple days, like, more, doing more than just me sitting talking. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna make lunch now because I'm starving. 
and the other day but I'm not gonna have that right now <laughs> I'm using my air fryer this thing has been like beat to shit it's filthy right now but I'm making some french fries I get the, the these are usually the only kind I get the thin cut french fried potatoes from um, Walmart because these have like the least amount of saturated fat and no cholesterol and stuff they're just super duper plain. Like these are what McDonald's fries are before they put a bunch of salt and fry them in oil and stuff. So I'm having those and I'm gonna make like my own version of filet of fish. I get these, um, what are they called? They're just like the breaded fish patty things. I also got these at Walmart, but these are like the, they like the Gordon Fisherman brand or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> They're the ones that are like meant for sandwiches. So these are both going to go in the air fryer for like, I like it to be super crispy because if you, you don't cook these things wrong, wrong enough, long enough, they're like soggy and floppy and I don't like this is like the only type of fish that I will eat, like fish sticks in this kind of fish. Actually, no, that's a lie because I like uh, like mild fish. I don't like salmon. It's way too fishy. Uh, I'll eat like cod and what is the other one? Cod and haddock are like the maximum amount of fishiness I can handle. Like I like it, but I can't stand super fishy things. So I'm going to put it in for like 18-ish minutes because then I know they'll be super crispy. Um, and that, I was just going to close this, but you guys are in the cabinet right now. So that's what I'm having for lunch. And I just use, I put the fish on a bun, the slice of cheese, and then I use the Hellman's tartar sauce. Sauce. <laughs> Because I'm lazy. I usually will make my own with mayo and uh, relish, but I bought some of this the other day, so I'm going to use that. And I just made a giant mess somehow. Guys, this is going to be my project for today, is cleaning up the pantry closet because it's a freaking disaster. Like. The water and juice shelf are the only things I ever organize. <laughs> Eden, enough! So as soon as I drop him at school, that's gonna be my 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 practice, <laughs> my project for today. Cause like there's stuff up there that can get chucked. That coffee that's up there was Stephen's grandma because like we don't drink instant coffee. So there's one there. There's another one behind there. I'm sure the vinegar is okay because I bought that not too long ago, but like there's so much stuff in here that can just this whole shelf I can't even use because it's got these These were hers too. Like I never use these plates. I never use whatever these are over here It's just a mess and it's giving me More anxiety about having to clean stuff when we move so I'm gonna tackle this today and just take everything out so like there's a br uh, the Resolve carpet cleaner thing is shoved in here because there's no other spot for it. It's just a mess. And then like the door hanger thing. I don't even know what this is. Oh, I think that was the picnic blanket that came with Aiden's Mickey backpack. And then uh, like paper bags. I don't really need those. I don't know why they're in here. And then that's like Aiden's snack stuff for his lunches. So. I don't know, I'll show you like a before and after because this really needs a good going through. <laughs> and the after. It's not as organized as I want it right now, but that just took so long. Oh my God. I took out everything that was over here and like just shoved in there because it was mostly junk. So I have like, look at two bags of trash to throw away now that was mostly stuff from in here. Um, 
Now I have a shelf for soup because I just bought a bunch of soup and we didn't have room for it in the kitchen cabinets. Um, this is mainly pasta and then I got like fruit snacks and pop tarts. We keep junk in here basically like snack stuff um, and water and Aiden's juice because this is like his juice closet. He knows where it is. Uh, but it looks so much cleaner. There's so much less crap in here now. It's just... I found light bulbs. Like, I didn't realize we had that many light bulbs. I just bought some not too long ago because one of the bulbs downstairs died. And now we have, like, friggin... How many? There's... These are not even open yet. So there's eight light bulbs right there. And then there's still a few left in here. So I have, like, ten light bulbs. I always get that kind because... I like the daylight bulbs. That makes such a difference in how bright a room is, especially at nighttime. Like, we have crappy lighting in this house to begin with, so the better the light bulb, the better your lighting is. <laughs> I mean, that's like common sense, but um, yeah, there's so much more room in here now, <laughs> and it's so much more organized, and I don't have friggin' brooms and stuff shoved in there that didn't need to be I don't this is like a friggin lint roller don't need that I don't even know what these racks go to I'm just gonna throw those out too uh, but yeah that's that's it that's my project for today and it is done is it recording yes it is today is Friday uh, I'm gonna finish this off probably now um we got some crappy news yesterday when Steven's, AB, uh, Steven, <laughs> Aiden's ABA therapist was here because at the end of the session she told us that she's no longer going to be working with the company so next oh, Thursday is her last day and the new person that's going to replace her is going to be with her to like meet Aiden and sit in on the session and everything and uh, it just sucks because it's like going on three years now that she's been with us and um, Eden's just like so used to her, you know, he knows that she comes on <laughs> Mondays and Thursdays and that like he's used to how she does stuff. I don't know. I hope the new person is going to be nice, but like at the same time, this was one of the big things I was worried about, like, if we have to move to a different state, like how we were looking at New Hampshire and stuff, obviously she couldn't still be his therapist anyway because the company only works in Massachusetts. And like I told her that, I was like, well at least now if we have to move, it's not going to be so hard on me to say that we got to say bye to you and stuff. Um, but like she said, she'll keep in touch and like to let her know where we're going so that she can find a good company for us to go through once we move. Uh, I just hope I have so much like so much anxiety about getting used to a new person like when we first started with her this thing the whole at home therapy thing for him was all brand new to me and I was like super stressed out about having someone come to the house twice a week to work with him and everything and like I'm gonna have a watery eye day again I can feel it but I got used to it so like I just keep telling myself that but like it was really good because we got along and I just hope this new person is like not a I'm sure they'll be nice because like the the newer girl that took over for the main guy um, is really nice and she comes like every Thursday practically but uh, I'll just be stressing until I meet her and then I'll be fine <laughs> but today is hair washing day for sure I'm gonna do something with this because I got that uber list stuff in the mail yesterday. It's only a little tiny bottle. Like, I hope I have enough to do the underside of my hair. But, uh, I got these hair elastics that are supposed to be for thick hair. I'm not sure how I feel about them. Because, like, they don't leave the bump in my hair, which I like. 
they're like really thick but I can only get it around my ponytail twice which means it doesn't hold it that tight <laughs> I need like at least three wraps around for it to feel secure but I don't know they're kind of growing on me because they're not leaving the bump in my hair in the morning uh, so that's like one less step I can just brush my hair and not have to worry about going over it real quick with the flat iron I don't know I'm gonna do something tonight with the, the color I'll figure something out because I I hate this <laughs> I knew as soon as I dried my hair I was like yep this is not staying because I've only I did it Tuesday and then I washed it and everything and today is Friday it is hair washing day and it's gonna be hair dyeing day because I don't like this super light peach that's going on so this is probably the end unless something happens and I come back on and record something else but I will end it now and say I'll see you guys next week